What's up, everybody? We want to say hi. I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm, I was good trying to get you to stop. I'm sorry. Oh, you're okay. But it's me, Brian Parfumore. And me, UFO Rick. And Sarah Parfumore. So today on Let's Talk, we're going to talk about the Defiance Ohio Werewolf. It's a pretty neat story and everything. We've been through Defiance Ohio. We seen the Volks that's where the Volkswagen Tower is when we did the video oh, okay. and everything. I remember that, yeah. So it's it's pretty cool. So let's see here. I don't know a lot about this one, so except for what I wrote, I went ahead and went through a lot of newspaper articles and stuff like that. Trying to find some of this stuff. I guess Defiance Ohio, like two railroad road workers, mm -hmm. railway workers mm -hmm. were hooking up the train cars. Late at night, one looked over to see a towering werewolf fangs bared. Oh, man. I'd probably shit my pants right there. Yeah, yeah. Who proceeded to attack the victim, Ted Davis, reported to police in 1972. Wow. I guess the werewolf may have attacked him with a club rather than his claws. A club? Damn. <laughs> I was over at your dog. I'm just picturing your dog right there with a claw I'm trying to smack people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Reverend's Claw. Davis wasn't the only one seeing dogmen in the wild. Another employee of the railway also reported a wolfman stalking the rails. Then a week later, a grocer driving home. Grocer. I guess that'd be just like a grocery worker. Mm -hmm. Driving home sees a wolf man in his headlights. So many people reports of Defiance Werewolf. Defiance Police open an investigation. Gestapo. So, <laughs> this is interesting already. Yeah. Toledo newspaper got a hold of it. Hold of the story. In 1972, and suddenly it's werewolf fever and defiance. While no werewolf was ever found, the legend has stuck to the town, and locals still talk about it to this day. Yeah. But Norfolk and Western Train, like. <laughs> I know. Hey. She's part wolf. Now that, um, North. Folk and Western Train. Ain't, mm -hmm. that the, ain't that the train that's been derailing? Yeah. Wow, is it? Wow. That's pretty interesting. I, I never, yeah. I just thought about it. Well, I see, we live not too far from Springfield, Ohio. I do. They had a train derailment there, East Palestine. Well, they've been going big, the train derailments yeah. and everything. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, they said... Yeah, he was spotted July 25th, hunched over six feet tall, Man. holding a large wooden board, <clears throat> so the attack was pre-planned. Yep, so it, it was intelligent. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah. This is awesome. Sarah left us for a second, but Sarah will be back. So, yeah, it's awesome. Let's talk about the Ohio... Defiance, Ohio, werewolf. Yep. <laughs> I had to. Why do you think this werewolf of Defiance, Ohio, was spotted around railroad tracks? Wow. I have, man, I have no idea. Um, but I would like to make a comment about what you said at, um, on the introduction. Yeah. That uh, you were talking about the train workers, they they said they saw a mad dog. I think they might have been drinking mad dog, is what I didn't drinking mad dog 2020. <laughs> and I'm not making light of this because I mean, I, it's it's interesting. And have you ever drunk so much you seen the wolf man? Believe it or not, I've probably seen the wolf man riding on the unicorn. Uh, all kinds of shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
core all the way. <laughs> you know, son, with me thinking railroad tracks, you know, I think maybe they're taking their railroad track areas because it's clear area. You know, not yeah. not branched up, not tree. It's more of maybe that's how they get town to town or whatever. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, it's kind of, I mean, when I was sitting there listening to you, you know, food doing, supply. Right. Doing the intro, and I'm like, man, I can't, you know, I can't come up with anything as to what it would be. Uh, well, see, what makes this cool and everything, I always heard of the story about this mm -hmm. and stuff. Like, you know, her bits and pieces of it. Yeah. But I never heard, like, the whole story. And so, when I started reading, you know, some of this stuff, that's why I wanted to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Plus, me and Sarah, where's that dive in Defiance, Ohio? I want to keep messing up. Yeah. Because that's where the big Volkswagen thing is, the tower and everything. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool, too. Um, do you think it could possibly be... Um... Unless that's going to be one of your questions. Do you think it could possibly be dimensional? Yeah, that's a possibility. Yeah. It's a possibility. That's a possibility. Yeah. You know? But, you know, it's cool because, you know, you hear about the train track and everything. It defines the northern Ohio. Mm-hmm. I'm probably going to... I'll, um, I'll, you'll, you'll find out later on why we'll talk about this because it's not another question to my answer. Mm -hmm. And I want to give it away all, right already. Okay. You guys at home, what would you do if you ran across this beast? What would you do, UFO, Rick? Man, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd hop on my UFO and bolt. I'd get out of Dodge, man. It, it sounds scary to me. I don't know. Best way, stay away, stay away. Yeah. I want to mess with him. I or anything. I would. Yeah. I want to mess with his his ass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, club or not. See, you you can't hit the wolf man with a club because he already got one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You probably took it from a guy that tried to hit him with it. <laughs> <laughs> it it's it's interesting and stuff. Yeah. Now I can't remember what what repels or or. Takes out the the where well I know where you talking about like Wolfbane different like Wolfbane silver yeah silver silver yeah exactly I wonder if that would affect what we're talking about here or did you run into anything like that uh, no I didn't run across anything like that okay well it makes you wonder though. now now next week Rick's gonna go to defiance with a pair of silver brass knuckles <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you have a chance either. So we just stop with that. No, no chance at all. Now the silver bullet, you might, you might have a chance, but the the knuckles, nah, I don't know about that. See, they never described him like you know, like wearing pants or anything like that. Like he's actually like a werewolf or something. Yeah. They didn't really describe that. They said you know, you know, some well six foot towering beast, hmm. showing his teeth. Wow. I don't know. It could be a guy wearing a damn wolf mask with a baseball bat. You know what? Could have been... Well, see, another thing. I don't think uh, Bigfoot is uh, bad. I was getting ready to ask you, do you think it could have been Big, Big, a Bigfoot? But I don't see, think they're bad. See, Bigfoot and stuff, I think Bigfoot, you can run across a pissed off one probably and stuff. Mm-hmm. But, you know, if he's saying dog man, that's probably more like, you know, dog man. Yeah. Dog man's a popular thing, you know. Yeah. So you don't think they had a confused... And, it, and it's popular in Ohio, too, just like Bigfoot. Yeah. So I don't think they're confused. Yeah. I but, just, like I, I said, know. like, you know, like when I was talking about the railroad track, they'd be on the railroad track mm -hmm. and stuff. It'll be, um, be more of my answer going to be on the do you believe... And the Defiance Werewolf, which I haven't said yet. Right. Because we're coming to it next after we ask this question. Yeah. Why you like, would you like to become a werewolf? Uh, I think I would, yeah. Not, not, maybe not stay that way, but. <laughs> I'm talking, yeah. Like, I'm talking <laughs> about like full moon. Oh, just only on the full moon? Yeah. 
have yeah. superpowers. Oh, so. def yeah, definitely. I would love to do that. Start howling at the moon and stuff. Yeah. You know, so, that's a crip, Rick crazy as hell. Crip. <laughs> 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 What about you? Would you like to become a werewolf? Oh, you know, I'll be honest with you guys. Shit, I look like one with this thick beard. <laughs> so I ain't gonna freaking lie. <laughs> Shit, I look like the wolf man now. But I think, I think it'd be awesome. Shit, you're halfway there, man. Like you said, you got the you beard. Got the hair. Yeah. yeah. I think it'd be awesome as long as it don't make you hostile. Sarah, would you like to be a wolf man? Well, a wolf chick. Wolf chick, there you go. Yeah. See, Rick wants to be the wolf man so he can run around peeling trees <laughs> and not get in trouble. But Actually, I'll take that back. You think that'd be cool? Sarah ran off camera. No, but yeah, I think as long as it don't make you hostile, I think it'd be freaking awesome. Yeah. You gotta think. Wolfman has power. He's like power and shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How if you're... Oh, if I was Wolfman, I'd jump out and try to scare people, too. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't hurt nobody. I'd scare people. Yeah. It, I don't know. Some might shot you with a bullet or whatever pitch you off. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that, that would be fun to do. You know, scare them and... And run off. Yeah. Then run cool. off. Especially the stoners. What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was some good shit. You did you we smoking... You know, and we've seen the wolf man. <laughs> okay, here it is, Rick. Do you at home? Well, I have to give you our answers. Do you guys believe in the defiance werewolf? You up, Rick? I am going to say yes, but I still lean towards a little bit that it could be possibly confused with something else but I'll say yeah I, I believe Sarah do you believe in the Defiance Ohio Wolfman anything's possible like for example when we were coming back from since well down by Cincinnati was well, in Cincinnati but we saw something kill us before across the road in front of us. So, guys, it's hard to believe what you what creatures you can see or believe in nowadays. Yep. You guys ready for the big answer in mind? And I was holding Rick. See, Rick never seen my answers. Mm -mm. And so, can I write them down? Because I think about it. Okay, remember I was talking about, you know, the railroad track. How he travels and everything? Yeah. Why do you think he, you know, travel around railroad track area? Check this out. I do more research. I do think, with Defiance not being far away from Michigan, mm -hmm. it might be the Michigan Dog Man. Oh. See, Michigan Dog Man. They got a Michigan Dog Man. Yep. And you still hear about the Michigan Dog Man, but you only hear about Defiance Werewolf in the 70s. Yep. And you know, packs will travel. Mm hmm. You know? <clears throat> So, what I'm thinking, I'll tell you something. You know, I believe in this one. I think it's real. Yeah. Even if it's the Michigan Dogman traveling and everything. Yeah. Good point. And stuff. Because that's another cryptid that's on the cryptid list. Yeah. Michigan Dogman. And stuff. So, I think Defiance Werewolf, Michigan Dogman, they could be possibly related. Or they could be the same All thing. Right. One in the same. Yeah. One in the same. Either, either Just or. traveling the damn railroad tracks. What do you think about that answer, Rick? I think that's off the chain awesome, and I 100% agree. What do you guys think at home? Remember to like, subscribe, comment, do Park More Paranormal, Angie Ghost UFO Rick. Keep your eyes to the sky. You might see Rick up in the sky flying as the UFO. Yep. You never know. You might see him traveling through time. Remember to say hi, Rick. Yep. You never know. You see Sarah over there playing on her phone right now. <laughs> but like me, we really do appreciate you. Keep following us and everything. Keep exploring. And some reason Rick told me he likes when I do this. Yep. It might turn the ladies on at home, but who cares? <laughs>
Peace. <laughs> Later, guys. Later, guys. Thank <laughs> you.